Greetings, I am Kayla Blanco. Today, we are here to honor every graduate. Although it is under special circumstances, we take pride in the love and spirit of Warren Easton Charter High School. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and Invocation. The invocation will be given by Tyron Minor. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Heavenly Father, thank you for this special day and for all the students who are graduating. In this moment, we hope that they reflect on their accomplishments and feel a sense of achievement as we prepare for our future endeavors. 
We pray that you bless us abundantly, help us to grow ever more closely together as a community of brothers and sisters, united in faith, hope, and love, while allowing us to grow in both wisdom and grace. Help us all, parents, teachers, staff, students, and friends, make it through these trying times and emerge as a stronger, kinder human force. Amen. Thank you, Tyron. Next, we will have the welcome address given by Caitlin Holmes. Welcome, faculty, honored guests, family, and friends to the commencement exercises for the class of 2020. It gives me great honor and pleasure to stand before you for the best and most humorous class in the history of Warren Easton. I am sure that I speak for all my classmates when I say that we are very thankful to share this day, which we worked, struggled, and look forward to for so long. All of our failures and disappointments are nothing but learning experience that have made us stronger. We owe our past, present, and future to our families, teachers, and friends without whom we would not be here. So I would like to give special thanks to God first because I would not have made it to where I am now and where I will be in the future. I would like to say to my fellow classmates that I hope that God continues to bless you and give each of you divine guidance to bring out the best in you. And our valedictorian speech will be given by Martika Carter. Hello everyone, I'm Martika Carter, the valedictorian of Warren Easton's graduating class of 2020. Since middle school, I have dreamed about this day. My dream of becoming valedictorian of my high school didn't seem impossible. However, I knew what it would take to achieve this goal. It was not easy. It took a lot of hard work, tears, long nights without sleep, and discipline to get here. There were times where I skipped out on fun with my friends and family because I was so dedicated to achieving this goal. One of my reasons for striving so hard to achieve this goal was because I wanted to challenge myself. I wanted to prove that I was capable of doing anything that I had set out to do. Honestly, the hardest part about achieving this goal was the fight I had with myself. There were times where I doubted myself and I felt like giving up. I honestly had to keep reminding myself of why I set the goal in the first place. On this journey, I went through hardships that would build my character and morph me into a better version of myself. The ups and downs I had to experience to stand here before you today gave me lessons that I will carry with me for the rest of my life. So while being at the top of my class is a great accomplishment, I am more grateful for who I have become in the process. I would like to thank everyone who aided me in turning my dream of being valedictorian into a reality. You should feel just as proud of yourself, of yourself as I do because you played a larger role in my success than you'll ever know. I would like to say thank you to Ms. Dunbar, Mr. McManus, Mr. Jackson, Mr. Gilbert, Ms. Bokaj, Mr. Elsie, Ms. Alois, Ms. Garcia, Ms. Strickland, Ms. LaCour, Ms. Johnson, Mr. Norman, Mr. Ms. LaDuff, Ms. McCrary, Ms. Milner, Ms. Sachere, Mr. Shelby, and Ms. Francis. You all believed in me from the start. I will never forget the impact that you have had on me. I also would like to give a special thanks to God and my family, especially my mom. You are my support system, the reason I am who I am. I've, if I left anyone out, do not feel bad because I promise you, your help is greatly appreciated as well. Now to my class. Congratulations to the entire class of 2020. We have finally made it. I know none of us expected high school to end this way, but don't let this unprecedented event take away from our huge accomplishment. It is only one of the many things that we will achieve in our lives, but that doesn't take away from its magnitude. This was no easy win. We've all had our fair share of high school blues and had to push ourselves very hard to get here, especially when it seems so far away. Now we are graduating and it is here that we will begin our official journey of life. It is now that we are making our own, we will be making our own space in the world. As we leave here today, there are three important things I want you to take with you. As long as you believe that it can be done, it is not impossible. It is okay to mess up and start all over again. It doesn't matter how or when you get there, but what does matter is that you get there. 
do not ever feel like you are too far off track to achieve great things. As long as you are breathing, you still have incredible potential. Thank you, and I am so proud of you all. Once again, I am your Warren Easton valedictorian for the graduating class of 2020, and I am officially signing out. Thank you. Thank you, Caitlin and Martika. Our guest speaker for today's ceremony is Ms. Morgan Jackson. Ms. Jackson is the Student Life and Diversity Administrative Coordinator at Tulane University Law School. She manages and supports the programming and activities of Tulane Law School Student Life and Diversity Departments. Morgan Jackson is a New Orleans native and a member of the Warren Easton 2006 Hall of Fame class. After graduating high school, she received a Bachelor of Art degree in History and Political Science from Southeastern Louisiana University. In 2013, she attended Tulane University Law School where she was president of her class and she received her Juris Doctorate. After graduating, Morin Jackson worked as a corporate compliance officer for the largest statewide youth mental health organization. In 2017, she returned to Tulane University as a member of the Student Conduct Council, where she investigated cases of student misconduct. She is the youngest member of the Warren Easton Charter High School Board of Directors. When Ms. Jackson is not assisting with students' organization and programs at Tulane Law School, she is participating in community activism and political education. I am honored to present you Ms. Morgan Jackson. Greetings, faculty, staff, family, and most important, the Warren Easton class of 2020. Today marks the culmination of four very long and hard years of work. Four years of hard work, not only by today's graduates, but also the families, teachers, and administration that was with them every step of the way. We are so proud of all the hard work you have done and all the great things we know that you will continue to do. I know that today may not have turned out the way that you always envisioned it. The size of the celebration does not determine the importance of the accomplishment. Some of the largest graduation parties in New Orleans are given to kindergartners every year, and they only know, need to know how to color to pass to the next grade. I can empathize with how many of you are feeling. 15 years ago, I walked out of Warren Easton's doors on a Friday evening to never return as a student again. Hurricane Dish Katrina destroyed New Orleans and all my senior plans the following Monday. I was the age you are now when I learned a very important life lesson that sometimes even when you plan, prepare, and pray, things fall apart. However, I was also taught that when the world seems to fall apart around you, you'll have to look at the wreckage, rebuild a better one with the pieces that are still there. And my classmates told me to remind you that while rebuilding, don't hire a subcontractor. Be the architect of your own dreams. The concept of following your dreams seems so simple. I know you've been hearing it since kindergarten or even maybe before. But in a world of 8 billion people, you will soon find out that the hardest thing to be is yourself. See, people will undoubtedly project their hopes, but most importantly, their fears onto you. You will say, I want to be a teacher. And somebody will reply, oh, teachers don't make no money. Or you'll say, I want to be an astrophysicist. And somebody else will reply, I don't know any black people that do that. Or my favorite, I want to be a doctor. Just to reply, you know how many years of school that takes? Well, the people that will say these things won't always be as we think of haters. Many times it'll come from people that truly love us and care for us and want the best for us. They may mean the best. But remember, it is hard for people to believe in things that they haven't seen before. Just because they have failed at achieving something don't mean you will. Failure, like success, is a personal journey. 
So to the dream chasers of 2020, like Seth West, become that engineer. Yes, it will be hard. Classes will be tough. And you may be required to take one more math class than you really are willing to. But you are tougher. To Kyron Greer, become that lawyer. Yes, it does take seven years of schooling. But when I finished law school, everyone that had told me that it would take too long was in the exact spot I left them with when I finished. And to Janae Alexander, become that social worker or that teacher. Either way, investing in the next generation is never a bad bet. Don't let anyone limited perception dictate your vision. You have to see the life you want for yourself with a clear eye view. And when people give you pushback, tell them that last year, the highest gross, gross in internet, internet personality was an eight year old that made $28 million giving, giving toy reviews on YouTube. The next thing my classmates asked me to tell y'all is that you are never alone. The initials for Warren Easton created the word we. And there isn't a word better to describe the attitude of this institution because that we represents everyone you know. You, your family, your friends, your teachers, and everyone that makes up this community. So while you're on the road to success, chasing your dreams, the day will come when you will find yourself in a room where there are not a lot of people that look like you. Or you will find out that no one comes from where you come from or share your life experiences, whether it's a classroom, a conference, or a boardroom. And you will start to feel isolated and alone but remember that you are never alone. We are there with you. And the only reasons why you can't see us is because you're standing on our shoulders while we are lifting you up. Last but not least, I would personally like to tell you that on the days when you feel like your life is the season finale of Grey's Anatomy, when you find yourself drowning in a river of why is this happening to me? When you get punched in the gut by a fist full of life, remember, this year, 300,000 people took their last breath because of a virus that was virtually unknown six months ago. But you are still here. We are still here. The average person would take 8 million breaths a year, and every breath you breathe is another chance, another opportunity. It's another reminder that you are still alive. You are still alive. You survived for a reason. The best advice I can give you is go live like it. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Jackson. At this time, we will have acknowledgement from Warren Easton Charter Board Foundation President, Dr. David Garland, Orleans Parish School Board Superintendent, Dr. Henderson Lewis, and lastly, our principal, Mervyn Jackson, will give the charge and present candidates for graduation. Please. Greetings. The Board of Directors of Warren Easton Charter High School asked me to extend its warm and sincere congratulations not only to the class of 2020, but also to the parents, relatives, friends, and loved ones that are watching today. We know how proud you are of your graduates. The board also asked me to extend its profound appreciation to the teachers and the staff of Warren Easton for their unrelenting dedication to and love for our students. We are so blessed to have at Warren Easton the absolute best educators, and we can never thank them enough for all that they do. This is a great day for you, the class of 2020. You have as individuals, as a class, as one, and as many, have achieved great success. You're graduating today, not only because you have worked hard and accomplished much, because you made the choice to do so. 
I know that you've always been told what to do, where to be, how to act, and it seemed that you were never in control of your own life. But know that it has always been your choice to be you, your choice to succeed, your choice to learn, your choice to create a future for yourself. And we come together to celebrate your graduation and your choice to be a better person. The class of 2020 will have a special place in the history of Warren Easton. The COVID-19 virus disrupted daily school activities, required distance learning, and that all began in March of this year. Also, the senior events had to be canceled or modified, but all of us in our own ways have celebrated your accomplishments. To the class of 2020, who will soon be our newest alumni, your accomplishments are inspiring, and both inside and outside the classroom. Most of you are not aware, but each year, the academic goals for the senior class are higher than they were for the previous year. You have met the challenge, and you have continued a legacy of growth and excellence that you should be very, very proud of and your accomplishments have not gone unnoticed. When the Hall of Fame Scholarship Program first started many, many years ago, it was given four scholarships at $500 per scholarship. This year, the Hall of Fame Scholarship Program, through the help of the Board of Directors, the scholarship awards totaled $120,000 for 41 students. The scholarship funds all come from private donations, and they can only be made possible when you, each of you, all of you, come together to inspire giving from others. Warren Easton is one of the only high schools in the city that has developed a significant private donation contribution system for scholarships. I will leave you with one piece of advice that is given to just about every graduating senior. The future is yours. Go out there and make it happen. It will be filled with challenges and unexpected joys. You will persevere when necessary and sometimes alone. But you will share the gifts and joys that come your way with those that you love. And always remember that humility, love, respect, kindness, gratitude, and charity are the great attributes that make us all human. And with these, you will be able to find happiness. Now it is your turn, class of 2020. Who will you be? You have been told endlessly to follow your hearts. Be yourselves, and best of all, become what you were meant to be. Congratulations to all of you, all of you that have made us so proud. Greetings and congratulations to the graduating class of 2020 of Warren Easton Charter High School. I am Dr. Henderson Lewis, Jr., Superintendent of NOLA Public Schools. Every year, I look forward to the month of May because it has always been reserved as a time to celebrate our graduates, and your bright futures. Whether it's traditional or virtual, graduation from high school is truly a major achievement. And I am elated to celebrate each of you along with your families, friends, and fellow Eagles. I must admit, this graduation is very special for me because I'm also a father of a member of this year's Warren Easton graduating class. As a father of a graduating senior, I know you may be disappointed that you were not able to say goodbye to your senior year and celebrate with your friends and families in the way that you had hoped. But I want you to know that you deserve to enjoy this moment and celebrate yourself for the special achievement 
and accomplishment that you have worked so hard over the years. And I can assure you that your families, teachers, and administrators are still beaming with pride and are excited for the next steps that you will be taking. This I know firsthand. And I simply want to encourage you to keep going. Let me say it again. I truly want to encourage each and every one of you to keep going. Your graduation today shows that you have what it takes to work hard and accomplish your goals. I am so proud of each and every one of you. So to our parents, I once again want to thank you, congratulate you, but also want to thank you for choosing public education here in the city of New Orleans. And to the class of 2020 of Warren Easton Charter High School, congratulations. It's time for you to spread your wings and fly high. We are so proud of each and every one of you. Congratulations. Greetings, class of 2020. It has been an honor and a privilege to observe you matriculate through Warren Easton. We have shared highs and low points, but one trait that has carried you through these issues has been your resiliency. More than all, at this point in time, that needs to be a trait that's going to carry you forward during these unknown times. You are eagles. Eagles soar. Eagles soar so they can see everything beneath them so they know the direct path to take. Warren Easton has prepared you for the unknown. And we're in unknown times, uncertain times. So rely on your roots, make good decisions, and stay safe. God bless everyone. Thank you. It is my honor and privilege once again to bring these candidates before you. I, Mervyn Jackson, the principal of Warren Eastern Charter High School, certify that the graduates before you have met all requirements set forth by the Louisiana Board of Elementary and Secondary Education for a high school diploma. With the power vested in me by the Louisiana Board of Elementary and Secondary Education, the New Orleans Public Schools, and the Warren Eastern Charter Foundation, I present the 2020 graduates for a high school diploma. To the class of 2020, I am immensely proud of you and all of your achievements over the years. As you embark upon your journey, remember that the best is yet to come. You are just getting started. I want to encourage you in two ways as you go forward. Firstly, to never diminish or downplay your unique gifts and talents. And secondly, as things change and evolve, always adapt and stay relentless and diligent in all of your endeavors. Continue to march onward and fighting eagles soar high. And now, the class of 2020. 2020 Honor Graduates. Valedictorian Martika Carter. Salutatorian Chioma Navarra. Kayla Blanco. Danae Marshall. Caitlin Holmes. Tyron Minor, Brianne Herndon, Cheyenne Wilson, Latrell McGee, Caitlin Martin. Twenty twenty graduates Dana Agnew 
Derek Alexander. Janae Alexander. Kaziah Alexis. Tyler Allen. Arthur Anderson. Jordan Ando. Tanari Andrews. Reva Boschman. Kyle Barbara. Tajon Barrow. Mia Bart. Sky Beasley. Corey Bell. Dawana Benoit. Jarese Bradford. Tajay Brickley. Felice Brightman. Eden Briskin. Amari Brown. Avery Brown Roderick Brown Rajane Brown Terry Brown Damon Bryant Javon Butler. Takia Campbell. Triana Caraby. And Deja Carter. Michael Carter. Amari Casborn Armani Casborn Tony Cash Rasan Shambles Kayam Chopin Ashad Clayton Jamaria Coleman Kennedy Curtis Mackenzie Curtis Quentin Dabney Brianna Daniels Charles Dunwap Skylar Davis Tiana Day Jordan Dixon Rondell Daughty Shanae Evans Jomiko Evans Kendall Fisher 
Amari Foy, Brianna Francisco, Kennedy Franklin, Tariq Gadsden, Trinity Gaines, Christina Garcia, Renell Garrison, Kalani Gilmore, Peter Gay Grant. LaGarrett Green Kyron Grill Ajada Hagen Tyler Hamilton Summer Hampton Irving Handy Ira Hayes Sharice Henry Niari Henry Karen Hill Alyssa Holiday, Deshawn Holmes, Patrick Humphrey, Krishan Jackson, Kobe Jackson. Haley Jackson, India Jenkins, Alea Johnson, Jariel Johnson, Sydney Johnson. Brandon Jones, Jordan Jones, Lance Jones, Zaria Jones, Jasmine Joseph. Paris Kennedy, Kaman Kirkland, Jaheem Larkins, Clinton Lawrence, Deja Lee. Monet Lewis, India Lewis, Taylor Lewis, Ranika Lanzo, Shantia Lucian Norman. Claude Luke Keith McGee Sean Manuel Nakisha Marshall 
Jayla Martin. Talasia Martin. Patrick McCoy. Liam McCray. Jessica McKnight. Aaliyah Miller. Deja Mims. Nina Monet. Benjamin Nyquan. Grisha Neville. Anaya Newman. Bria Newman. Ramsey Norman. Elvia Oro. Brittany Orzko. Alethea Patterson. Ariane Penn. Joshua Peets. Taylor Porter. Sean Price. Markia Rainey. Raven Rainey. Janae Ramirez. Talia Rakasner. Dasani Reddick. Alexion Reed. Justice Roberts. Danielle Robertson. Kyla Robichaud. Naya Robinson. Corey Roshan. Jasmine Romero. Jai Rose. Damon Sampson. Deshay Scales. Nyron Check Snyder. Amari Seal. Aaliyah Scott. Brian Scott. Alyssa Scott. Elise Scott. India Shakir. Cameron Simon. Tabitha Simpson. Alyssa Sims. Anaya Spencer. Nakaya Stevenson. Katherine Stewart. 
Michael Stewart, Tian Stockman, Keontae Sullivan, Janae Sutton, Deja Taylor. Desane Taylor, Selena Taylor, Darian Thomas, Jamara Thomas, Renaya Thorn. Raven Tyler, Cedric Van Pran, Jordan Wallace, Christopher Watson, Joseph Weed. Dwayne West, Seth West, Taylor Whitted, Jiren Whitted, Aaliyah Williams. Christopher Williams, Sierra Williams, Dakaya Williams, Jalen Williams, Maria Williams. Sean Williams, Tiana Williams, Zeta Williams, Nasir Wilson, Jamie Winfield. Taylor Woods, class of 2020. Greetings from my class, the class of 1960. I'd like to tell this class something I've told every class since Katrina. Life is meant to be experienced and enjoyed, not endured. At this point in time, we're having to endure life to some degree, but there also can be joy that you can find in around you and with your friends and family and how you can help. Life is meant to be experienced and enjoyed, not endured. The decisions you make in the next few years will be the ones that will determine whether or not you do condemn yourself to have to endure life or whether or not you get to enjoy it. I'm gonna give you the alumni pledge Normally during most graduations, I will read sections and then the class responds back to me what has been read. Since we're in a different situation today, I will read the entire alumni pledge and at the end of it, I will ask you to make your pledge to honor the Eagle Alumni Pledge. Here is the alumni pledge. I will honor my school, community, and country by applying what I have learned at Warren Easton I will lead the way. I will take responsibility for my actions. I will distinguish myself and help others do the same. Because we are eagles and always will be eagles, we will always bring honor to the purple and old gold. Class, please agree with me that say yes, I agree to honor the alumni pledge. Thank you. During these trying times, 
we have lost one of our family members, Sharon Head Jenkins. Ms. Jenkins had been an excellent educator at Easton for over 30 years. She will be missed dearly. And as a, as a tribute to her memory, we are given this special message because she will always be an eagle. Once an eagle, always an eagle. God bless you, Ms. Jenkins, my friend. I've heard there was a secret chord that David played and it pleased the Lord. But you don't really care for music, do you? Well, it goes like this, the fourth, the fifth, the minor fall, the major lift, the baffled king composing, hallelujah. sing the alma mater followed by the benediction given by Caitlin Holmes. Father, please let your grace shine on my fellow graduates and protect those who have joined us today to celebrate. Lead us all with confidence into this next stage of our lives. Give us the ability to, to persevere and celebrate the passing of this milestone. Guide us so that may we know love and success in whatever we do after graduation. Watch over us and keep everyone safe as we go our separate ways. Amen. It's been a long day 
without you, my friend. And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. We've come a long way from where we began. Oh, I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. When I see you again. Why'd you have to leave so soon? Yeah. Why'd you have to go? Why'd you have to leave me when I needed you the most? Cause I don't really know how to tell you without feeling much worse. I know you're in a better place, but it's always gonna hurt. Carry on, give me all the strength I need to carry on. It's been a long day without you, my friend. Come along. 